Well, salutations, kindred spirits. Hey, and welcome back to another magic history lesson. And I welcome you after being off for a week, an unexpected vacation, which followed an expected vacation. I, I took a couple days off for Easter and then I returned home to find my air conditioning was off. So I did try to film some content, but it turns out card, tr card tricks and sweat do not mix. So uh, pardon my absence. And uh, here we are back to our regularly scheduled program. Today we're going to talk about a card trick that's been in my repertoire for over uh, over 35 years. It's one of the first sleight of hand card tricks that I ever learned. It's not this one, but I need the I need the queens to do the trick, and I figured we could introduce them in a fun fashion. And speaking of that, feel free to use your favorite four card production as you do the trick we're going to talk about. And what's the trick we're talking about? It's called the Visitor, a Larry Jennings plot. This is a Frank Garcia handling, and we'll get to all that information after I demonstrate the trick. It uses a selected card. I'm gonna use the Ace of Spades, just so we have an easy card to focus on. Uh, you'd wanna have a card that's maybe lost in the deck, and you know what I recommend to, to start this trick? A great way to start it is just to do a standard sandwich. So I like to use a Jay Sankey sequence, which is do an Erdnace transformation. Uh, effectively as a vanish and then do a pass to uh, shift that situation into the middle of the deck uh, effectively trapping the selected card but uh but i digress the point here is use your favorite sandwich trick to introduce this and i guess what i'm advocating here is a three trick sequence which is always a good idea a little tidbit of information i learned via mike skinner's advice and if you can routine your tricks in sets of three, you'll remember them better and then have a better experience to deliver to your audience. So here we are, we've produced the four queens. We've used two of them to find a selected card. And now we're going to discuss the visitor. Let me perform it for you as it was shown to me over 35 years ago. I make a reality situation by trapping the selected card, the black ace of spades, in between the black queens and they go into the lower portion of the deck. We'll make an illusion with the red queens. Yeah, we make an illusion situation that the selected card jumps in between, what the heck? Yeah, it's in between the two red queens. That's not actually, it's just an illusion. Yeah, there's no way it could be in between the red queens. Remember it started in this packet between the yeah, between the two black queens, and that is the visitor. Wow, what a card trick, huh? Not too shabby. And hey, it's not too hard. And before I talk about the easy version, let me talk about the original version, which is a little difficult. Uh, this plot was developed by Larry Jennings. I'm guessing it was in the early 70s, maybe before that. Uh, he published a trick called The Visitor, which is this plot. It does His version involves some palming. I'm not saying this version is better. I'm just saying it's easier. And I've used them both in my professional experience. This version gets as good of a response as the palming version. So I'm going to advocate this. And hey, if you're looking for a good card trick to add to your repertoire, congratulations. You just found it. Here we go with The Visitor. The only real thing you need to do here is a multiple lift and a double undercut. And uh, I don't think I've discussed the double undercut on this channel yet, so we'll talk about that as we go. <clears throat> okay, so you've had the queens introduced, a card has been selected, that card goes in between uh, one of the queens. Maybe the black card goes between the black queens, I don't know. You do you, I'll do me, this is what I do. As you place the cards atop the pack and square the face-up queens, you get a little finger break underneath the uppermost queen. So just lift up slightly with your thumb as you square the packet and get a little finger break. This is in preparation for the double undercut. As you explain to your audience that you're going to cut the queens into the lower part of the deck, what actually happens is you grab the deck in a uh, biddle style grip. Your thumb takes over that finger break as your left hand undercuts half the deck and moves on top of the queen. Now that thumb still holds that break I like to do an extra cut here. So I'll take about half of the cards below the break, move them to the top, and then move the rest of the cards to the top. And what that does is place our queens in this situation. One queen at the bottom of the deck face up, one queen second from the top face up, below the selected card on the top. So you've inferred to your audience that you've cut that, that situation into the lower part. At this point, pick up about the top two thirds of the deck. You want to leave about a third of the pack on the table. 
And as you pick up the two queens, you're going to get a break underneath the, uh, bl the black queen and the selection. Now you can cover this with your arm and shove cards over. You can thumb count if you'd like to get that break and then transfer it to your pinky. I'm going to advocate the pinky count, which I think is an invaluable move. So as I go to grab the queens, I just let one, two cards pop off the tip of my pinky. In the wor worst case situation, you can just take your thumb and lift up gently or more appropriately, move the deck downward. Lifting up is never a good idea. If you can gently move down instead, that's appropriate. But using one of those methods, get a break, a secret break under that face-up queen in the selection. This is under the cover of reaching for the queens. You have all this cover here, right? Put the two red queens on top of the face-up pack, and now we're going to do a multiple turnover of all the cards above the break, which is four cards, the two red queens, the extra cards above them. And now when you spread the top three cards, it'll look as though the selection has jumped between the queens. Now you'll want to hold the cards in this manner, uh, a diagonal kind of fan, the face-up one in, in, in the center. Your first two fingers are going to cover the index of this black queen, and this is one of Larry's, Larry Jennings' great ideas. And covering that index with your fingers, after you turn these face up, you get to show this situation, which completely looks like two red queens have trapped the selected card. As you show this, you're going to get a break underneath the uh, other red queen, which lies on top of the deck. That's in preparation for another multiple turnover, and you do that to show the card has vanished. Deal off the top two cards. To complete the effect, we'll now show the card is returned to the black queens. And to do that, you just get a break about halfway down. Just, just grab with your pinky. You don't even have to hold a break, really. You can just put these on top. But I like to have a break ready to go. So I use my pinky, and after I deal these to the table, I pull down here in a very quick kissing action. And I'm going to refer you to the performance to see this at speed. The, uh, you pick up the table packet with your right hand and middle grip, brush it against the left hand packet, and pick up everything against the break as you move this hand aside. And then when you ribbon spread the packet, there will be one card below the uh, face up black queens, and that is a selected card, and that is uh, Frank Garcia's handling of the visitor. Yeah, that's Frank Garcia's handling. I learned this on a, a Tannins stars of magic videotape and I say it's Frank's handling I'm not sure we never were sure with Frank's published material but hey if you're looking for some good strong material to add to your repertoire I can rep recommend everything Frank Garcia published because he cherry picked some of the top routines of his time his videos are good his books are full of strong accessible magic and well worth your attention and with that knowledge you have what I know about the visitor so hey Go get a four card production together, learn a good sandwich sequence to introduce this routine, learn the visitor, and then you have a great three phase sequence. I hope it serves you well. It has me for over 35 years. That's gonna do it. Once again, hey, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.